All right, guys, here I am. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you that grocery outlet haul and we're gonna do a little tour of my kitchen. All right, so just real quick, here is my new kitchen. It may not look like much. It's very 70s and outdated, but we love it. It's the biggest kitchen that we have had since we have been married. Um, it's our first like big kid kitchen, so it's fun to cook in and we love it. So there's our fridge. The big chargers magnet. We're actually not like chargers super fans or anything, but somebody gave it to us and there it is. And then there's all the uh, number and letter magnets. Uh, you can see that the little guy has been grouping the numbers together. 222-666-88. Those are his favorite numbers right now. All right, so over in this corner then, um, it's just kind of some stuff that got put there. My husband keeps bringing in appliances from outside and or in the garage, not outside. We don't keep our appliances outside, guys. Don't worry. Uh, he keeps bringing them in from the garage and I don't have anywhere to put them. So they're just sort of sitting there until I have time to organize them. So there's a juicer, a waffle iron, and then uh, just a bowl of uh, produce, a base, and then my little mini food processor, which is so exciting. I need one of these, I swear. That was a Christmas gift from my mom this year, and oh, my, I actually broke my old one from just using it so hard. And then in the back um, is this uh, platter and rolling pin, and they're really cute. I love the colors. Um, those are the colors I'm probably going to decorate with when I actually decorate. This is not decorated right now. It's just a hot mess right now. It's clean, though, so I mean, it's as clean as it's ever going to be. All right, so then uh, this is the stove area. Um, we have a weird kind of computerized stove, uh, so just like bells and whistles go off all the time. We have no idea why most of the time. There's a microwave that did come with the house. Uh, we didn't buy a microwave. And then that's all the stuff that I use for um, making stuff with essential oils. Uh, so house cleaners, little bottles, carrier oils, um, little sample vials, um, this is for like making, you know, little shakers of like, you know, comet kind of stuff or carpet shakers. Um, you know, I've got a pan out because I'm getting ready to do some food prep. This is what I make my stock in. That just stays out all the time. Um, this is where I keep kind of just like the stuff that I'm going to use all day. So um, there's my Chemex. It's got some coffee in it. There's my Orla Kylie water bottle and I drink a lot of water. Uh, it really helps with my energy levels I find. You know everybody needs a different amount but I need a lot of water. Alright here's my KitchenAid mixer. I use it all the time. Uh, some people don't use those all the time. I do. I absolutely need a KitchenAid mixer. I do a lot of uh, baking from scratch. Uh, my last name is Baker after all. All right, some brown bananas. Those need to go in the freezer for smoothies. Um, just a little welcome plaque because it's nice, it's cute. There's our Vitamix. We use that all the time. Sink. I've got uh, chicken in there. That's going to be dinner. And that was also part of the haul. Then um, here's our window. Some candles and our plant that we've had for the last several homes that we've lived in. Um, it's the longest surviving plant I've had to date. Our knives, our food processor, and a toaster. And then I'm going to give you a close-up of one of our cabinet poles because these are just too groovy. Yeah, baby, yeah! Those are amazing, aren't they? I mean, okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah! Those, I don't know, these just crack me up. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the haul. All right, so here's our receipt from Grocery Outlet. Uh, our total came to 107.81. The 147, that's just because I got some cash back. Um, and then by shopping with us, you save 240.60. And you know what's really cool about that? If I put my email and phone number on here and put it in their little. Um, like raffle box, they will give you double what you saved if you win. So that's kind of amazing. So I will definitely be doing that this time. All right, so let's go ahead and get to what I got. 
I've already tried to film this three times. There's been an emergency every single time, so let's see if we can get through this. Eggs, obviously, every time you have to have eggs. Organic fair trade coffee, 32 ounces, so if my math is correct, that is four pounds, which is four times as much as we would normally get. It was less than $10. We would normally spend right around $10 a pound for coffee, maybe less, seven to $10, I would say. So that is pretty good. All right, so we got two of these. I've I already made this one last night. Two of these frozen bags of chicken. We got some ground turkey. Uh, these also have already been consumed, Adele's sausages, and then another brand of chicken sausage, Whole30 compliant. These are not Whole30 compliant, um, but not everybody in my house is doing Whole30, so um, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> All right, butter. We got a bunch of butter. Um, we got a big thing of Chosen Foods Organic GMO, certif GMO Free Certified Avocado Oil. Um, that is, you could cook with that. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to get closer. You can cook with that up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That is insane. That is so awesome. So I was really excited to find that there because that can get a little bit pricey. All right. Then a big bag of sweet potatoes and some dates and... Okay, so I got a lot of these coconut waters. There's only four here. I got a lot of them. These were less than a dollar each. And um, we don't have those every single day, but they are great to send for lunches. And um, my teenager really likes those instead of soda um, because he does like the taste of soda, and I do not like him drinking soda at all. So that is a nice little substitute, very hydrating. All right, so... Oh my goodness, what was that? Just a minute, I'm going to go check into that sound. All right, everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got a bunch of these little Fit Fit things. They are crazy cheap. Um, they are like two to three ingredients. This is just nuts. I think it's walnuts and apricots. And uh, they're very tasty, and they're only 69 calories, so they're a nice little pick-me-up to just throw in your purse or your, your car in case you get stranded. Got about a million of these gimme seaweed snacks. Um, they are organic, and they have no, th this particular flavor doesn't have soy. Just, just draw yourself off on a toe, honey. Um, all right, so we got a lot of those. Um, and that those are Whole30 friendly. Okay, two bags of, just one second, two bags of Udi's, I believe that's how it's pronounced, I might be wrong, uh, two bags of their Florence Street Bakery bread, uh, one is country seeded, one is farmhouse white, um, the kids like to have sandwiches and they are not doing Whole30. We are trying to be gluten-free right now. I know that the ingredients in these are not ideal, so I'm still kind of hunting around, but the price was incredible. They were a buck fifty each, and I actually have a freezer full of like hamburger buns, hot dog buns, stuff like that, because I stock up when they have them at Grocery Outlet. All right, so this cashew butter, which is just uh, cashews that have been roasted uh, and then uh, ground up with salt. There's no, like, hydrogenated oils or anything in there. So that's pretty amazing. All right, so this one, two, three gluten-free uh, cake mix. Just a minute, baby. All right, we're not gonna make that anytime soon. That's just to have around for like, when your kids... Oh boy, okay, just a second. Okay, so I try to keep a cake mix on hand, or two or three, just in case one of the kids wakes up in the morning and goes, oh, by the way, mom, I promised that I would bring a thousand cupcakes to school today. And this will happen to every mother at least once. It will happen. I promise you, if it hasn't happened to you, it's going to. He wants the camera. He's perfectly fine. He's doing water play with his pants off. He took his pants off. Uh, see, he's got his water play set up down here. So he is fine. He's just wanting to play with the camera and 
whatnot. And he has suds on his car, which he wanted, but now he doesn't want them on there. And yes, my floor is dirty, uh, but after the water play is over, we'll just mop it up and we'll have a clean floor. All right. <laughs> the dogs bring in a lot of mud and stuff. Okay. So back to the hall. All right. Gigantic bag of kale. Kale is a necessity. That was my finger. Sorry. I'm not very good at this filming thing yet. All right, a bunch of celery. That's already, we've, I've already started cutting up the carrots and the celery uh, to use for snacks. Um, it's great fresh, all right, this great blend of fresh poultry herbs. Um, I saw those for $6 at Vaughn's and they are not $6. I think they were $1.50. Uh, and I'm going to use those with this chicken tonight, and that will be our dinner. And that is my grocery outlet haul and my mini kitchen tour. Um, let me know with a thumbs up and a comment uh, if you like this video. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this, and uh, I will see you later.